I don't think I've, I've soaked it all in yet because I, I, we're going on the back straightaway and then, you know, uh, I saw him crash it behind me. I'm like, okay. I'm like, come on, caution. Where's the caution? And uh, they finally threw the caution. And then it, it took me a second because I was like, okay, like, does this mean we won? Did, like, you know, and it, it, uh, it took me a second. Then when, it, when they said it on the radio, I just went bananas. I, I didn't just, I just started screaming. It, it's an amazing, amazing feeling. Um, you know, uh, my first, I remember my first day going to 500, and I walked out on that grid with my dad, and, and I, I saw my car there, and, and that almost brought me to tears because, yeah, it's an accomplishment to be in this race. And then winning it, you can just imagine what that feeling is. It's, uh, it's hard to put it in words. Well, you earned it today. I'm going to ask you about one point in the race where you were out. I called it out on an island. I think you had two, two and a half car lengths on the second row, which was three wide behind you. Tell me about what was going through your mind while you're trying to keep them at bay. And, and, and they're three wide. You had to feel like they're probably going to make a charge. Yeah, you know, one of those lanes are going to break free. You know, the three wide behind you, you're out there too far, to be honest with you. And it's like... Uh, I don't. I don't know. I I, I wasn't gonna lift. You know. I mean, they always say you know, make sure you don't get too far. But I, <laughs> something about hitting the brakes or slowing down back to them just felt like the wrong thing to do. Uh, so I, I just uh, kept my foot in it and just stayed in the mirror and watched uh, which lane was coming and tried to get the push from them as, as they got closer to me and uh, uh, able to keep them back there.